My name is Yao Asensu Mensa. I'm the managing director of Plant Pests and Diseases Control Company Limited, which was established in 2017. In the week of the mango bacterial blast of disease, that was almost devastating the mango farms in this country. The disease was first detected in this country uh, and be specific with Kintampo here in 2012. And by 2016, it has spread to all mango farms in this area. And uh, the Ministry of Agriculture and other development partners have tried to train farmers on the control of the disease to no avail. The detected gap was a trained gang of sprayers who work under the auspices of a private company because the training were being given to the farmers. But the farmers who were being trained were unable to spray themselves. So they go out and hire libraries on the, on the streets who are not trained. And so the farms were being sprayed all right, but they were not being sprayed effectively until Petco came in. So Petco had to train about 30 young men in the area of spraying and pruning mango farms. And so after the training, we started working. That was in 2017 when the company was created. After our first year of working, the Department of Agriculture decided to go around and evaluate our farms and see how we have been able to work on the disease. The interviews they had with, with, with the farmers indicated that we have almost controlled the disease on their farms to the extent that one farmer who harvested only a crate of mangoes from his three acre farm after our intervention had harvested 150 crates. So were all the farmers that were interviewed. So the information was sent to the MC who also forwarded it to the Minister of Agriculture because it had almost become an epidemic. And so the minister, upon hearing the information, sent his deputy to Kintambo here to interact with my company and then also launch a mass spraying program for all the mango farms in this district. Unfortunately, we could not get the required equipment to do the work on large scale. And as we were making contacts and writing proposals, we came across Waterfresh. So when Waterfresh came into the scene with the approval of a proposal that we sent to them, the work was revived in the sense that we did not have means of transport to visit the field. And our technical officers and supervisors, all of them were using only one motorbike. With the intervention of Waterfresh, we had five motorbikes for all our supervisors. So visiting the mango farms became very easy for us. And again, Waterfresh also augmented our stock of equipment with uh, pruning equipment and some spraying machines. So we're able to upscale our work. And again, we now had moto kings to convey the gangs to the field. So with that intervention, we were able to upscale the number of farmers that we're handling to 86 farmers. And after our first year of work, the progress of our work and the interventions that we're making on mango farms spread across to other farmers who came to join, this, join us work on their farms. And as I speak, we have a total of 300 mango farmers who have uh, applied to us through their various associations. So as of now, six different mango associations with a total membership of 360 have applied to us to work for them. So that is how far Hot Press have gone with us. And um, one key thing is that we have been able to raise the yield on the farms that we work for. To the extent that 10 of our farmers, as they, as they close of last season, were able to have it between 5 to 8 tons per acre. Now, the rest of the farmers could not get to that, this target because they were unable to procure all the chemicals that we recommended. These farmers who were able to get the yield I'm mentioning are the farmers who were able to procure 
the chemicals we recommended. And so now what the company is doing with the farmers is that we have planned and very soon we'll be implementing an input credit scheme where the inputs will be purchased for the farmers on credits to be paid after harvesting. And we've gone a step ahead by signing agreements with processing company to pick all the fruits that we produce by Petco farmers. At the beginning of our work with Petco, we were having only 30 gang members. All of them were based in Kintambo here. With the intervention of Hortifresh, we've been able to expand to other districts. Now we have a, a gang or a branch of the company working at the table with 10 gang members. We've also opened another branch at Techiman, also having 10 gang, 10 gang members. Some of the gangs have been trained, ready to start work at Wenchi and Granza. So in all, we have been able to upskill our uh, gang base to 65. And then also we have office staff uh, with the assistant of, uh, of, of uh, Hortifresh, we've been able to recruit two accountants, one storekeeper, in addition to the workforce that we have, with the intervention of Hortifresh in the affairs of front pests and diseases control company limited. Mm -hmm.